General MacArthur drops an atomic bomb. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is the Allies, turn four for Operation Crimson Glory. Moving, we'll go straight into it. We'll go straight into the purchases. In Europe, the United States is buying a minor factory. NATO is buying three aircraft, three tanks, and six infantry. In the Pacific, the United States is buying two transports and infantry. They've activated the 3rd Marine Division, a tank, an artillery, and a jet fighter. While Sato is getting an infantry, a transport, and three tanks. Going over the board for the attacks. NATO is launching an air raid against the Russian fleet in the north. They're launching a bombing raid against Poland. The Allies are launching a massive invasion of southern Italy against those seven Soviet tanks. Going over to Asia, Sato is launching a raid into Kuang Si. Sato is launching an invasion of Kiang Su. And the U.S. bombers are going on a strategic bombing raid against uh, Shanghai. So, we'll get this started. So, we'll do the first battle up in the north there. So, that'll be two for three, one for four against two for two. So, let's let's go. All right, two for three. Ooh, misses. One for four. Wow. Two for two. Misses. Wow, what a poor first round. All right, two fighters. Nothing. Wow, the one tactical. There's a hit. The Russians. Nothing. All right, so back to the two fighters. There's the second one. And the final Russian destroyer. Hit. All right, so the battle over at Murmansk. One NATO fighter is destroyed, and the two Russian transports and two Russian destroyers are destroyed. Put those over here in my, just my little graveyard for now. Okay, we'll move right along, then we'll go into the bombing raid of Poland. So there'll be two anti-aircraft gun rolls against the bombers. Miss. Miss. Now the damage. One bomber gets three. Second bomber gets three. So they max that out for six damage. So let's see here. Um, well, just take one great chip. Grab a red. They've maxed damage the war, and they've maxed damage the Warsaw. All right, now we'll move down to the battle for Southern Italy. The Allies do have a battleship and a cruiser, so they'll get that. They're also attacking with two infantry, an airborne, uh, five tanks, a tactical, a jet, and two strategic bombers. So that'll be two for one, one for two. Uh, five for three, and then four for four. So let's get those rolled out. But first, we'll start with the offshore bombardments cruiser, miss, battleship, hit. So that's one Russian tank down. So now we'll go into it two for one. There's a hit. And then we, that'll, this one marks the offshore bombardment. I'm not going to take them off yet. So offshore bombardment, the one infantry. All right, 82nd Airborne, miss. And now we got the five tanks. So we'll just roll the first three. One, and the last two tanks. Oh, double hits. One, two, three, four, five. There's two more Russian tanks. Um, oh, got three more dice over here. Come more if I need it. All right, so this is for three of the four aircraft. One, and one more. 
And that's all the Russian tanks destroyed. So now all seven will fire back. So we'll start with a roll of four. So these are all at three. That's two. And then the final three. Ooh, two more. So that's four hits to the allies. Though the allies will still take it. So the allies lose their two infantry. They lose the 82nd Airborne Division. Three, and they lose one tank. But they are able to capture Rome. Come on, sorry. So the allies will get back, or NATO will get back three IPC and Sato, or not Sato, and Russia will lose three IPC. All right, moving on. So Sato will automatically grab Kuangxi with these two infantry. Up in the north here now, we got the battle. So we got, so we got a uh, enemy anti-aircraft gun, an infantry, and an artillery. All right, so the anti-aircraft gun will roll against the enemy airborne or against the Sato airborne, miss, and then the offshore bombardment from the Sato cruiser is a miss. So now we'll go into combat. So again, we have one infantry, two marines, two airborne's, and a tank against an infantry artillery, and then. An AA gun. So we got the one infantry for one miss. We got the the Marines and the Airborne hitting on two or less. Well, they got one. And the tank for three. Miss. Alright, so the Chinese will probably take it on the anti-aircraft gun, so then they roll two for two. They got one of the Sato forces. Um, I think we'll press the attack. So four for two, nothing. Oof, one for three, there's a hit. And then the Chinese will strike back with two for two. And they got another one. Well, Let's see here. Well, try to think here. I could. Hmm. You know what? I'm a I'm a gambling man. So we'll go three for two. Hits. And then it'll roll its one. Miss. Alright, so Sado has now taken Kuang C. or Kiangxi, so that's going to be four from China, and four for Sato. And I'll put these forces back on Formosa, because that's where they started from. And then finally, oh shoot, I was supposed to commit that fighter. Darn it. Well, Drat. Well, these things happen. You live and you learn. All right, so then we'll do the final bombing raid for Shanghai. So the two American bombers. Safe. Safe. One hit. Wow, come on, guys. Five, max damage. All right, so then the Shanghai factory is max damaged. All right, well, that is all the attacks. We will move into doing the non... We'll, move, we'll do the non-combats and deploy, and we'll be back with an update on the board afterwards. All right, so in wrapping up the turn, the Americans are moving forces to Europe and moving some forces back to the States. Um... A collection of NATO forces have been sent to Norway, and the NATO is pulling out of Finland. They've reinforced Denmark, 
and moving to reinforce and pushing more the American army has reached Germany while other splinters of the American army uh, take up position in northern Italy with NATO um, the United States deployed their minor on Spain NATO deployed their 6th infantry on in the UK their three tanks in Paris and dropped their three fighters on uh, Israel got to try and save as much of Israel as possible before the Soviets begin their attack also NATO has uh, built up a massive fleet inside the Baltic now to uh, challenge the Soviet fleet over there at Leningrad in Asia oh whoops I didn't put some stuff down in Asia let's see here what was I doing in Asia Sato is moving its forces into Myanmar or Burma while um, holding back well, I'm just moving their forces there. Oh, whoops. Sorry. They dropped three tanks in Mian in Malaya. While in the Philippines, they dropped an infantry. They dropped their infantry in transport. And then the United States continuing to build up their fleet here in the Atlantic. Or not in the Atlantic. Um, in the Pacific. And then they dropped all their reinforcements all right nope i meant to drop this fighter i meant to drop this jet up here in alaska and then the united states dropped the rest of their forces in the western united states so at the end of the turn sato collects 30 ipc 30 ipc so they will have 25, 30, 30, they'll have 36 for next turn. The United States gets 50 with their uh, one saved from last turn. So they'll have 51 next turn. And then NATO gets 68. So 50, 60, 65, 68 with the one that they saved. So they'll have. They'll have 69 IPC for next turn. Well, that is it for the Allied turn. Uh, we'll be back with turn five for Operation Crimson Glory. We'll see you then.